Whether you are viewing video responses in the app on a mobile device or on Flipgrid.com on your laptop, student created video responses and shorts created by educators now automatically feature closed captioning when they play. Let me show you. Here I've launched a short in which I've created a Flipmoji story. Check out the closed captioning on this video. My Flipmoji story all about fall. The first thing I love about fall are the falling leaves in all their beautiful colors from golden yellow to burnt orange to rusty reds falling from the trees. As the cold winds start to blow, a pumpkin spice latte will keep me warm. Now I can always turn off closed captioning by clicking on the closed caption icon, or I can leave it turned on. By default, it will be turned on for your video responses. Now let me show you the closed captioning feature in a student response to a topic in a grid. So I'll go ahead and launch a response. Hi everyone, welcome to Flipgrid AR. With the Flipgrid AR codes and the Flipgrid app, you can take any student video response and turn it into an augmented reality experience, much like you're doing with this video right now. Now, what was incredible about the closed captioning feature added to this video response is that I actually didn't record this video response in the Flipgrid recorder. I recorded it on my phone and then uploaded it to the Flipgrid recorder. Also, something else magical that I have to point out and share is that in addition to having closed captioning available in this video, student responses also have immersive reader. So if I click on the immersive reader icon, let me just click next tips. Got it, there we go. Notice that I can have the student's response read out loud to me by simply clicking play. Christine M's response. Hi everyone, welcome to Flipgrid AR with the grid. AR codes and the grid app. You can take any student video response and turn it into an augmented reality experience. Notice that I have all the features of Immersive Reader, including text preferences, so I can always change the theme, increase the text size, increase the spacing, change the font. I have grammar options so that I can turn on syllables, which breaks the words into syllables, and have parts of speech identified, which I currently do. I have all nouns turned on. I even have reading preferences, including line focus. Picture dictionary is on by default, but something else that's completely magical is the translate feature. So I can select my language that I wish to translate this response into. And if I turn off by word and select document, that student's response is now translated into the language that I chose. Nothing has happened to the original response. I simply click original up here at the top to toggle back to the English version. And I can easily return to the student's video response by simply clicking the back button or exit. 